What's up, guys? Man, I guess I should introduce myself. I am Phil Heath, your 2011 Mr. Olympia champion, reigning Mr. Olympia champion, getting ready. We are Saturday, three weeks before we find out who's going to win the Mr. Olympia title in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena. I'm here over at Armbrus Pro Gym, showing you guys something I never really show you guys, which is cardio. You know, a lot of people ask online what type of cardio I do and how long I do it and why I do it. And uh, none of my training videos or even the uh, DVDs have cardio in it. So I figured, why not share uh, some of my thoughts with that? Um, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a lot of training footage. Me getting ready for the contest. Sorry to disappoint, but uh, as you can see, I've been trying to lay low and uh, really just keep to myself this time around. Uh, some photos did leak out, so you guys got kind of got a glimpse as to what I've been working on over the past year. But um, for the most part, I'm just really just trying to keep to myself, be focused, and I can assure you that uh, you won't be disappointed. I haven't disappointed you guys yet, huh? But anyway, as you can see, I'm on the treadmill, dying. <laughs> no, I'm not dying. But uh, got to sit on a high incline, and I know a lot of guys um, just, you know, they, they vary whether it be the uh, elliptical, the step mill, um, the bike, treadmill. And usually, right now, I'm alternating between the incline tread, step mill, and uh, bike. All depending on how I'm looking and uh, how my legs are looking. Sometimes I've done preps where I don't do step mill at all. And then there's other ones where I do like two hours a day. Um, I think my theory behind cardio is this. Do it. <laughs> you want to get shredded. You want to get in shape, especially for contests. Everybody wants to have these different myths and theories and stuff. When really it comes down to, are you sweating your ass off? Are you working hard? You're working hard in the gym, but you want to punk out on some cardio because it's boring or it's tough because you're low carbs or whatever. But you want to get shredded. Well, I'm here to tell you. You want to be Mr. Olympia, you want to be straight on stage, you can't avoid this. I have good days and bad days. I was in here late, late last night doing cardio. But when you get ready for the Mr. Olympia title, you know everybody else is doing cardio. Or not. They better though. I'm sure after they see this, they're going to get fired up. But I mean, it's true though. I mean, you got you to gotta get that cardio in. You got to get a good sweat going. You want to... I think guys like Ronnie Coleman, Dorian, Rusa Spari, kind of, even Jay, kind of screwed us into having to get these crazy lines in our glutes. <laughs> and uh, in order to get that, it's unavoidable, fellas. So I know that being the current champ, I'm setting a new standard, I believe. And they've got to follow my lead, which is obviously known for you know good separation, full muscle bellies, but most importantly conditioning. Um, so I'm expecting everybody to be on and in shape. So that means I can't slack either. So I'm gonna get in, I got another nine and a half minutes on this, and I'll probably hit a little bit of step mill and uh, maybe do some stretching and do some light glute work. Um, I like to throw in a little bit of glute work just because as I get ready for a show, my butt gets smaller. <laughs> so I'm trying to still keep it full. Sounds kind of weird, but but uh, we need muscle back there too to help out with all the other exercises, squats and stuff. So I'm actually enjoying this. 
because I know this is something that you guys don't get to see and I don't get to talk about. And you know, I started thinking about it the other day, like how can someone get bored doing cardio now with all of the uh, <laughs> different things you can do? You got TV, I got Sports Center on, watching college football. I got my headphones in. You know, people got iPads and stuff. They only got no reason to not get in shape. But, uh, oh, one of the things I, I think even the young beginners or old should invest in too is uh, heart rate monitors and stuff. I kind of know where mine needs to be, um, but I usually tell people to get around 60-65% of the maximum heart rate, and uh, some people would disagree, but give it a try, I guess. Want to use my theory? Fine. Don't get mad, though, if you use somebody else, you don't get shredded, though. But uh, I have goals in my head of knowing that if I can take it myself to the next level, mentally, physically, not get rattled emotionally during a prep, great things will happen.